Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kathleen and today I'll be showing you how to make an easy Thanksgiving appetizer. So as we all know, Thanksgiving is quickly approaching so we must get these ideas ready and prepared. But this can also be used as a Thanksgiving inspired appetizer because I'm going to show you the easy way out and that way you don't have to roast an oven roast an oven, <laughs> roast a turkey in the oven for hours. Or you can also make this, I think it's a great idea to make this as a leftover meal because you're going to have the ingredients lying around anyway so why not? Anyways, so without further ado, let's make, ready for this? <laughs> Obsessed. <laughs> Oven roasted turkey, Asiago cheese, and cranberry sauce sliders. I know, it's amazing. And if you know anything about me, you know how much I love to eat. So <laughs> let's get to it. Let's get started. Let's get started. What you're going to need is some French dinner rolls, just small ones, or they don't need to be French, they just need to be small dinner rolls. Fully cooked oven roasted turkey breast. I actually get this at Trader Joe's. It's all seasoned and ready to go. This is what I was talking about, the easy way out. <laughs> some Asiago cheese and some jellied cranberry sauce. Now place your turkey breast on an oven rack and put it in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. While your turkey is roasting, you can go ahead and cut your dinner rolls in half. And we're actually going to toast these about five minutes before the turkey's all done. So we'll also prep our cheese by cutting slices of it. Now very thin, try to keep them nice and thin so that they melt beautifully. So I'm just going to put a little butter on these rolls in order to make them nice and toasty. Our turkey's almost done, so I'm going to put these in. Remember, five minutes before your turkey is ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead, now that the turkey's roasted, it's piping hot, so I'm going to hold on to this, and I'm going to cut it into small slices, little slivers. And now that our little buns are nice and toasty, we build. So we take a little bit of turkey, it's heavenly, and this will melt automatically because everything is piping hot. And then we take a little cranberry, spread the love on the other side, and we oh, you hear that crunch? That is it. So while Al and I go and chomp down on these, please make sure to give this a thumbs up. If you liked it and you need more Thanksgiving ideas, let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Pretty, pretty, please. I love YouTube. This is my, this is my world. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like I just said, and I will see you next week. 